Hello, I'm Michaela, and I'm going to be doing the bit, the Pitch Perfect book tag, and I'm just going to go straight into it and do question one, and that is, I saw the same, a book or series you stopped reading when you realised it wasn't what you thought, and that was The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, and it was just a lot of rubbish and has got a lot of hype for this book as well as the movie and I struggled with the book and I couldn't watch the movie at all because I got about half an hour in and it was just a load of rubbish so I gave up. The second question is, since you've been gone, what was your series that you had high hopes for but blew its chances with disappointing ending and that would have to be a secret scripture and it wasn't so much the ending that was disappointing but I did figure out what the big plot twist was supposed to be halfway through the book and that was what was disappointing with me and it's a shame because it could have been a slightly better book. You're gonna miss me when I'm gone, a book or series you missed after you finished reading it and that was Fangirl. I struggled to get into this book but once I did it was a great book and it, you just want more once you've finished. Just the way you are, a book, sh a book or series that is beautiful inside and out and I have mentioned this a few times and that is The Snow Child and again I'm not going to read a name because I'd butcher it. Uh, you spin my head right and round or series with such a great plot twist. It makes your head spin, and that was A Shade of Vampire, Bond of Blood, and the plot twist at the end was absolutely great, and I loved it. And the next one is Don't You Forget About Me, a book or series that hasn't impacted or moved you so deeply it's impossible to forget. And that would have to be The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, and if you've read it or watched the movie you'll understand why. And the next question is Party in the USA, a book or series that you had that had you so hooked you held it on an all night party and I wasn't up all night but I did read it almost constantly and it was The Shade of Kiev which is a spin off trilogy from The Shade of Vampire series, it's not like a graphic world, but it is on the Kindle as well. The next question is, I've got Magic in Me, favourite fantasy book or series, and that's an obvious question, it's The Edge Chronicles, and I'm not going to say Harry Potter because I feel that's an obvious answer, so I'm just going to stick with this one. The next question is Eternal Flame, a book or series you'll always love no matter what anybody else says about it and that would also again be A Shade of Vampire because there are people who hate this series and there's those who will love it and then just those who think it's a bit meh but I'm one of the lo ones that love it so I'm going to stick with it. The last one is Just a Dream, a book or series that stayed on your mind for long after you finished and that was Heaven Eyes by David Ormond. And not, it's not because it's anything too, too special or too great, great, but because it's a book I remember from childhood and every so often I will think about it and the message about friendship that it provokes and it's just overall a great children's book and I don't really know who to tag but if you feel like doing this tag feel free to do so and I think the person who created this tag was called Sarah Ella and if possible I will either link her channel or the video itself in the description but thanks for watching.